Police officers and the justice system don't need hundreds of millions of dollars of public relations from Hollywood. But in fact, that's what they are getting right now. We did what we had to do, Liam. Now, we don't have permission from everyone to use their phones, but we access them anyway. Tell us. You overdose. These shows that look at crime TV misrepresent race, mi misrepresent the criminal justice system, and do it for big profit. And the public deserves something better. when people view these shows, they're viewing them as a piece of reality. They are playing off of real life and then portraying stories that are deeply false, deeply harmful. Imagine if medical shows were portraying misinformation about diabetes or HIV and AIDS or cancer. We know you watch CSI, but that's not exactly how DNA evidence works. This is different. How? Oh. We're the good guys. Over and over, the good guy is doing bad things. We actually created something called the good guy index, the good guy endorser index. And the good guy endorser index really looks at how over and over good guy, the quote unquote police officer or, or criminal justice official is doing something bad. Um, not only getting away with it, because that happens in real life, but getting sort of a great speech written by a Hollywood writer that get kind of portrays why they need to do it, why it's the end sort of justify the means. You don't get it, do you? Get what? The difference between dirty and necessary. You need people like me doing the things regular cops are unwilling to do. I'm just excited you get to shoot people again. These TV shows oftentimes use people of color characters as sort of stand-ins for justice. And so they will kind of place people of color characters in scenes when bad stuff is happening, when illegal stuff is happening, as like law enforcement figures, to kind of give the public a sense that it's not racist. It's okay if a person of color is sort of there and accepting it. And you know, the, the, the kind of challenge that that works with is that not only have these shows sort of really diversified their casting, which is a good thing, at the same time, though they haven't diversified the writers rooms and so what ends up happening is largely white writers rooms are writing sort of the justice narratives in cities with people of color characters who never speak out against racism or don't speak out against racism consistently and it's painting a narrative for the public that the justice system is sort of working fine and those who are pushing back those who are fighting back are not sort of aware of all of the reasons why the justice system needs to work the way it does Male victim 40s gunshot to the head. They very rarely, if ever, show black women and women of color as victims. When we know that in a lot of places where these shows are set, women of color and black women in particular are more likely to be victims of crime. That's important because when we're fighting for criminal justice reform and we're trying to get things in place that the public wants, if the public only sees certain people as victims, those are the people whose voices are gonna be prioritized in those debates in terms of victims' rights advocates. And what we know is that women of color and black women in particular want different things from the criminal justice system in terms of their advocacy as victims' rights. They want things like restorative justice. They want things like investment in poverty and education and mental health. They wanna ensure that the person who committed the act doesn't do it again. And that means that a whole set of other things Actors need to happen, not just locking someone up for years.
someone could only say that it was apolitical if you have been living behind gates with servants for the last several years. If you have not watched the movements and uprisings in communities where people have been demanding safety and justice, where people have been hurt and harmed by police officers and families have been broken apart. We live in a country where we have 3% of the world's population and 25% of the world's incarcerated population. You could only believe that the content you're putting out in the world is apolitical if it doesn't matter to you if it doesn't hurt your families, if it doesn't hurt your communities, if this content doesn't make it harder for you to live in the world. And so for all the people that can live behind those gates and reap the benefits and the rewards of content that is deeply harmful and creates this disconnect between perception and reality that is deadly for so many of us, we are asking them to think differently to use their creativity to tell stories that are more realistic, to show the stories of justice reform that's happening in those communities, to recognize and represent the deep discussions and pushes to talk about race in the justice system, to show police misconduct and not just one special episode a season.